Hello Taurus, welcome to your February 16th through 28th reading for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a collective reading for all Tauruses, and if you'd like a private reading, please go to royalmystic.com. And without any further ado, we'll go right into the reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Taurus, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine. Your presence is always welcome here and very appreciated. Thank you for this information for the second half of February, Divine. Here we go. Wheel of Fortune. Boom. That's a great way to start. Burden lifted, financially sound, and judgment in your favor. <laughs> Woot woot, Taurus, go ahead. So here we have your relationship, love life, and spiritual life. Okay, not bad. Now we have career and finance. Yay. Nine of Cups and King of Pentacles. Taurus, that's your card anyway. So for your underlying energy, you have the Four of Cups. This is an offer being extended to you from the universe. And if you look... He's not real keen on it. He's just like, what is that? What's going on? I don't know if I need that or not. So this is considering an offer. That's what's going on in your background area. Oops. Now, I'm so excited. I'm throwing the cards. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Um, I don't know how this could be any better. Uh, this is a great card for the very first card out of the deck. This is... Beautiful energy of divine timing, as you see this clockwork here, this mechanism. And then you have the wheel of karma. This is the wheel of karmic debt being paid. So you're being found uh, not owing anything. This is making up for anything, any past discretions, okay? This is a past discretion, past indiscretions, okay? So this is having an, a, coming to a zero balance in your debt of karma. Also means going from last to first in the blink of an eye. So as this wheel turns, okay, you see all these little zodiac signs happening here. This is actually your sign here. There's your, there's your Virgo, I mean not Virgo, your Taurus sign, I think. I might be wrong, but I think it is. All the signs are on there somewhere, but I feel like that's where it's going to, that stood out to me. So this is having that moment of victory. All the stuff, anything blocking you, any obstacles are being pulled out of the way and you've got the green light. So you've been sitting there waiting for the time, lamenting over it. And this is the next card, which means the cycle of burden is ended. The drudgery, the... Uh, just almost slave driving effort of trying to get yourself out of the debt or out of the hole or to finish the challenge, you're coming to that point to where this is about to be removed. You're taking that last long hard walk of carrying all the weight on your shoulders. The very next card is the Four of Pentacles. This is the foundation of financial abundance and stability. Now, the only thing I can recommend on this card is to keep yourself in the flow. Don't restrict your money in your mind, okay? It's about having the right energy to turn loose and let it go and return bringing friends. It's like when your children leave the house for the first time. Uh, <laughs> it is that moment of, oh my God, they're loose in the world. But you know they always come back home. So that's the thing you have to remember. You turn your money loose, it'll return. Just have that thought in mind. Spirit gave me that, so I'm passing it on. Now, we have the justice cards. As those of you who are waiting for some kind of decision regarding a new job or a court case or just uh, someone, someone making a decision or you yourself trying to make the fairest decision possible, you're using divine energy here to make a laser-pointed decision in the right balance. So this is the fairest of the fair, okay? 
So it's a good thing. It's a good energy. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune, the burden being lifted, you're financially stable, and the Justice card. Amen and amen, I'm just saying. <laughs> I like that. And now we have the Eight of Cups. So in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life, this is you looking out into the horizon going, yeah, I'd like some adventure. I'd like something new. You may be looking for a new house. You may be looking for a new mate. Uh, you may be looking to expand your horizons and do something different and travel, okay? This is asking the universe for an opportunity. And the universe is answering with, let me turn the light on for you. Let me show you what's out there to be had. Now, it doesn't mean you're leaving somebody. It can mean that. You could be leaving someone. But it can mean... Um, having the opportunity to uh, branch out and travel and do things with your mate, it doesn't mean you're leaving them alone. So don't think I'm talking about that. Uh, it could be, but I don't feel it. So Knight of Wands, time to take action. Things, things are happening. This is that fiery energy, so there's an opportunity coming for you to get on that horse. Either that or an opportunity is coming at you, which could be work. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is your... Taurus energy. Taurus is all about the pentacles. That's what you are. I was about to point over there, but it's over here and over here and over here. So this ace of pentacles is the gift of financial security and stability. Now, another thing you need to know about the pentacle cards and the pentacle suit is it is talking about the here and now. It's not talking about in the future. It's talking about in the natural, which is this lifetime. So this is coming now, the stability, this commitment, uh, it is seriously the foundation of all things. Now, for you, this might be the foundation of a really, really uh, stable relationship. It also may be the foundation of a house, okay? So, we'll see. Now, we have, because you know, everybody's got something different going. This is a general reading, so bear with me. I'm giving all options. Three of Pentacles. This is your energy once again, bringing something into existence from your own hand. This is smelting. He is smelting his own gold, which also creates his own profit. This is bringing this in from the unmanifested to the manifested through his own two hands. Three is a sign of expansion. And this is a yes from the universe, nine of cups. Granting your heart's desire. This is, he's toasting the room. He's so excited. This is a big celebration. Cheers to everyone. My big, my big venture paid off. And paid off well because now we're the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is very grounded, stable energy. This is having more than just the four of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Now, this is, he is on that chair and planted. Now, for some of you, <laughs> this can be talking about accounting, okay? Because some people who are accountants or deal with other people's money, that is what you're doing is you're, you're giving them the foundation to help them get through whatever tax audit or whatever profit you're trying to build for them, okay? So some of you may be, they're, they're showing me coins. And for me, that means making someone money through handling money. Okay, sometimes people are accounts payable, receivable. But whatever it is, you're raking it in. This is You're being very stable and very deliberate with it. And since it's coming up in all your areas, that's what made me mention that for some of you. It's tax season and you're, <laughs> and you're having to deal with it. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Oh, wow. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Taurus, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine. <laughs> we welcome your presence here, and as always, you are very appreciated. Okay, so this was our first set. Of course, the devil's going to show up there. That's just fear and the past energy. So you've got to let it go, and, and there's all these other things the devil is a lie. Remember that. <laughs> I love saying that, but it's absolutely true. I'm pulling from the bottom because if the deck was turned over, that would be the next card.
out with the old. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Hang on. Let's see if I can get the... I got a new uh, camera. Let's do the magic wave. There we go. Um, and so it sometimes locks into a crazy uh, blur. So the death card is out with the old, in with the new. This is sweeping change, clearing the deck, making all new beginnings, releasing all the old ways. So this is good because that is definitely being clear. So you're being pulled out of the rut and you're about to wipe away this negative energy. So the devil card showing up on here is, is definitely talking about having been held back and suppressed. And it may be your own thoughts that are holding you back. So be careful not to carry those with you. Um, don't, don't have other people's ideas of, you know, the pessimism and the negativity have to be let go. That's what this is for, is to take away all of that. So please allow yourself. You may oh, have been stuck in this place so long. I just can't see my way out. Well, that's a very negative way to say it. And you've got to remember, there's always a possibility for something to break loose. And whatever, this, this is the old karma that's being released. Think of it that way. If you can't think of it any other way. This is all that negative karma dropping off. And here comes the new. Okay? Here we have the old burden. And you've been towing that line and holding things back for so long. It's about, it's finally time. It's finally coming through. You're able to drop all that old stuff and say, you know what? Don't give me anymore. I'm, I, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not taking on everyone's burdens. Standing up for yourself. I have these uh, stones up here. This is an obsidian that I have just to keep the glare from reflecting back. So that's why that's there. Just FYI in case you're wondering. Then we have the Four of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. This is a blessing from the universe, the elixir of life, the Holy Grail. This is a, this is a definite here you go from the universe. Drink from the Cup of Life. The Justice card with the Temperance card. So it's saying, sorry, I definitely got to figure out how to stop that because I don't like that. Okay, so we have the Justice card and the Temperance card. This is saying, be patient. They're working on it. It's being worked on. This, this Archangel Uriel is transmuting this energy through these two cups. She's pouring it from one cup to another. This, you see the... I'll put it up here. I'm probably going to lose focus again. Here's the cup turned sideways, and she's pouring it into the cup the second cup that's in her other hand, okay? So she's tempering it, she's mixing it, she's being the alchemist to make the best possible case scenario for you. And it won't be forever a wait, but you have to let it happen that way. And you, so you have to be patient. Don't think it's gonna snap your fingers and be done. This is talking, I'm gonna remove him and put him under. This is talking about divine timing. That is a timing mechanism. So you have to know that it is going to happen only in God's timing. So, this Eight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So, the Eight of Cups is asking the universe for something new. And it's saying, how about the Garden of Eden? <laughs> and we say, yes, please. <laughs> we will have more than one. We shall, we shall partake in the Garden of Eden. So, that is a great card and a great outcome. For, for the Nine of Cups where you're doing the searching. Here is the, the Knight of Wands, which is the action. It's time to take action. And by action, it's telling you, get in your boat, take all of your ideas, get in your boat, and go forward. It's time to make a move. So this is heading your boat in the right direction, hopefully toward the Garden of Eden. Then you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the wonderful foundation. And the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is can be standing up for yourself, okay? Because she is also somebody that can be in your inner, you know, circle or your in, in your relationship area. This may be the the person that is your your spouse or your mate or the person that you're dating. Um, this is an air sign. 
it would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. However, it can also be talking about someone who is very adept at uh, speaking in a way that can be very blunt, okay? So when you have this kind of commitment card talking about the here and now, this is also someone who is defensive, okay? They are very strong in their will, and uh, they usually have their sword out before they need to, okay? So keep that in mind. Whoever this is in this card that this is talking about is helping you in the way that they're helping you be stable and have this foundation with them, but sometimes their words can hurt. Just know that. It can be sharp-tongued. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is this beautiful energy of expansion with the Empress. The Empress is a beautiful energy of having that muse of creation or inspiration. This is bringing something into existence, which is exactly what he's doing, that did not exist prior to this idea. So this is having this divine energy come through to help you build whatever this is. Okay, so that's great. So if you've been feeling stuck or like nothing's happening, some divine energy is coming your direction. Then we have a threshold to a new thing. This is a new beginning. Entering in through this doorway. This is a doorway to the castle. And he's toasting. So this is for many of you, this is a new job. Or a new job offer. It looks like it's a new entrance to a next level of your life. So it could be any number of things. But it does have to do with work and finance. Some of you, it may be the, that you're at the point that you can actually retire and go, you know what? See ya! So here is now the king of pentacles which is that taurus energy and the king of cups so the king of cups is feeling very generous and very romantic and very heartfelt so this person loves love okay so it may not be on the romantic level but this person is just very gregarious and heartfelt so if this is the new job for some of you this person is giving you a genuine offer and they genuinely do care and want you there. So, there you have it. The, the King of Cups is that kind of mushy person that's very, uh, they love hard and they care. They're friends, you know, they really care about their friends and their, their, uh, their company is like their baby. So, they, they want you there as as an important it's like a family to them really that's what it's they're showing me a family so many blessings to you Taurus I hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for all the likes shares and subscribes I hope you have an amazing second half of February I thank you all for for watching and I couldn't do it without you um, don't forget we have the daily mystic if you choose to join if not no biggie I still will be doing these twice a month and I'm about to start weeklies those will be part of the free stuff that is offered by Royal Mystic. So, many blessings to you. Thank you so much. Namaste. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.